Good morning and welcome to today's video y'all. Today is going to be exciting because we're going to see probably the most impactful dog rescue I have ever visited. Quick disclaimer, by impactful I mean impactful to me. This one really touched my heart and I'm excited to share it with y'all. Through my travels, y'all have seen me do a lot of different charity work for all kinds of different veterans organizations like my friends over at Motorcycle Missions and Wounded Warrior Project and the American Legion, the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association and so many other things. Maybe I haven't done enough for dogs. And in today's video, we take one small step towards helping dogs down in Mexico. Here's a quick flashback to how it all started. Yep. We are in a little border town called Ajo. So what are we here to do? We're gonna buy some dog treats and some dog food. Let's get some prime cuts. I think we have to get the gravy train. What if I give you guys the cash? What you got over there, Lori? Oh, just some, I don't know, really dog treats. I don't know what she needs, so we'll take a little bit of everything. Some bigger bones. Let's hook them up. It was a beautiful morning in Mexico. We rode the less than perfect roads into Barb's Dog Rescue, which is just north of the Rocky Point Rally, about 15, 20 minutes. Chasing us on the bikes was my Jeep Gladiator with Scooter in it and all that dog food we had picked up for the puppies. One of the things I noticed right away about Barb's Dog's Rescue is how friendly everybody was that was working there. All right, y'all, if you haven't seen our video of riding into Mexico, you can click this link right up here. But we went and picked up some dog food for this dog rescue down here in Mexico, and we are here to deliver. That was a terrible road coming out of there. You didn't like it? No. Big potholes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the big potholes. I watched her come out of her seat, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> How you doing over there? You doing okay? Spectacular. We have a lot of fans online that wanted to say hi to you, so tell hello. them all hello, wave to them. Hi there. Yes, the World Wide Web is interesting. Yes. All right, baby, you ready? Yes. You ready to feed some puppies? Sorry, I guess I see you, so. We are, uh, we're here with some dog food for you. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Okay. Where can we unload it? Right there? Yeah. Just carry it from the truck over and through here? Yeah. All right, let's get it. How many dogs do you have here right now? 350 dogs? Yeah. Holy cow. That is a lot of dogs. Peter could at least make friends with one of them. Negative. Oh. Is, this a, is this a no kill shelter? I believe so. Do yeah. you euthanize dogs here? No, no kill. Excellent. Let's take a look. These people had their hands full. Uh, over 350 dogs to take care of. Over 2,000 rescues a year, I think I understood. Oh, hey there, little guy. Oh. Oh. Mama, how's it going, Mama? Thank you. Old timer needs some love, huh? I wish there's a little one to get it. There you go. Oh. Several times. 
She says that she does over 2,000 adoptions in a year, and if anyone's interested in the United States, it's very easy to get the dogs over there. It is easy? That, that's where most of the dogs go, is to the United States. Well, this is Barb, the lovely lady who's uh, has spearheading this project. I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to be able to help these poor, pitiful dogs. Yeah. That they're just thrown away like garbage. It's sad. It's so sad. They all just have such different personalities, you know? Every one of them a different personality. Another thing I noticed uh, from this kennel that I was really impressed with, now keep in mind we had gave them no notice we were coming, it was a complete surprise visit. And every one of the dogs' kennels was clean. All the dogs were clean. All the poop was raked up. You could tell the sand was freshly raked. These people are taking really good care of these animals. And I'm just so thankful they do it because Mexico is littered with stray dogs. Dogs that people are just throwing away like garbage. Look at the sun. <laughs> So we're entering into the larger dog section here uh, where they keep some of their larger dogs and rehab a lot of the dogs that have recently been through surgery that they just take care of and they keep uh, through their lifespan. And here we've got uh, the maternity ward and uh, the rehabilitation center. And look at these guys. Could you have any more fun? What's going on, everybody? Everybody just wants some love. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys are all good. I love you. You are handsome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, just showed up here. Look how clean they got. Everything raked out. And all the animals are look really good taken care of for given a situation. Yeah, the YouTube. Uh, he can, he can Luedo, you see his face. Oh, look at how calm he is. Oh, 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 oh. What is going on, buddy? Oh, look how he just wants to be at home. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a cute puppy. You're a cute puppy. That's a gentle cute puppy. So okay, gentle. And it's just shelter after shelter, cage after cage. This one? Yeah. And there you have it, Barb's Rescue here in Rocky Point, Mexico. What do you think, baby? I just want to take them all home and love them. Well, we did a little good today. We showed them some love. Some American bikers came and dropped off some food. And uh, are you going to get that dog or what? I'm seriously thinking about you. Yeah, I'll probably end up with it at home. Well, that was awesome. Thank you guys for coming down here with me today. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank Thanks for showing us around. And this is the employee of the month, two months running. Good work, homie. Take care of him. So that's a really cute dog Lori's got there, right? Fun fact, she went back the next day and she actually rescued that dog, brought it back to America, and it's now being placed with its forever home. Good job, Lori. Actions like this explain why you and I are such good friends. So here's the lowdown on Barb's Dog Rescue. They are a charity and a dog rescue that I am gonna support throughout the entire year moving forward. If you want to help them, you can send donations to them directly or send dog food to them directly. I will leave a link to their website down in the description below. And if you're interested in adopting a dog, guess what? They don't charge anything. You just come and give the dog a good home. And these dogs can be brought up to America if you happen to be watching my video from America. Nonetheless, there's a lot of good things happening down in Mexico. And Barb's Dog Rescue is a perfect example of that. We are all humans and we should all care so much. Y'all, until the next video, I hope you enjoyed spending a morning with me in Mexico doing a little good for our fur friends. <laughs>